Welcome to an example on how to use your orthogonal projection formula to determine a vector projection onto a plane in R3. To begin, let W be a subspace of Rn with orthogonal basis containing the vectors u sub 1 through u sub m. Then for any vector x in Rn, the orthogonal projection of vector x onto W is given by the formula shown here. So in our example, we're told to let W equal the span of the vectors 1, 0, negative 1, and 1, 1, 1. These are the vectors u sub 1 and u sub 2. And vector x is the vector 2, 3, negative 2. We're asked to compute vector x sub w, which is your orthogonal projection of vector x onto w, as well as vector x sub w perp, which is the projection of vector x onto the orthogonal complement of w. And then we're also asked to find the distance from vector x to w, which is the magnitude of vector x sub w perp. Let's begin by looking at this graphically. The span of the two blue vectors gives us w, which is this plane in R3. The given vector x is the red vector. The orthogonal projection of vector x onto w is this green vector in the plane. And the orange vector is the projection of vector x onto the orthogonal complement of w. The magnitude of this orange vector will give us the distance from the vector to w. So going back to our work, let's first check to make sure that vector u sub one and vector u sub two are orthogonal by checking the dot product. So because the dot product is equal to zero, we know the vectors form an orthogonal set, and therefore we can use the formula shown below to determine the projection of vector x onto w. So the projection of vector x onto w is equal to vector x dot vector u sub one divided by vector u sub one dotted with itself times vector u sub one plus vector x dotted with vector u sub two divided by vector u sub two dotted with itself times vector u sub two. So to begin, let's find vector x dotted with vector u sub one, which is two times one plus three times zero plus negative two times negative one divided by vector u sub one dotted with itself, which is one times one plus zero times zero plus negative one times negative one which is the vector one, zero, negative one. And then we have plus vector x dotted with vector u sub two, which is two times one plus three times one plus negative two times one divided by vector u sub two dotted with itself, which is equal to one times one plus one times one plus one times one times vector u sub two, which is the vector one, one, one. Simplifying for the first fraction, the numerator is two plus two, which is four. The denominator is one plus one, which is two. And then still times vector one, zero, negative one. For the second fraction, we have two plus three plus negative two, which is three in the numerator. In the denominator, we have three times vector one, one, one. Simplifying again, notice how the final result is the vector three, one, negative one, which is the orthogonal projection of vector x onto w. Now we can find the projection of vector x onto the orthogonal complement of w by determining vector x minus vector x sub w, which is the vector two, three, negative two, which is vector x minus vector x sub w, which is the vector we just found, the vector three, one, negative one. Subtracting the projection of vector x onto the orthogonal complement of w is the vector negative one, two, negative one. So the final step to find the distance from vector x to w is to find the magnitude of the projection of vector x onto the orthogonal complement of w. So let's do this on the next slide. The magnitude is equal to the square root of the sum of the square of negative one, the square of two, and the square of negative one, which equals the square root of six, which is approximately 2.4495 units. So the distance from the red vector to w, which is the magnitude of this orange vector, the projection of vector x onto the orthogonal complement of w is approximately 2.4495 units. I hope you found this helpful.